Council's work is always impressive because of its gifted kids who are mostly interested in how much they can give back. My parents have always kind of raised us up with the values of don't leave extra food on your plate and don't throw that away or um, always value the things around you because they can be gone one day and you know a lot of people don't have them. In the true tradition of the Youth Council, their processes and products have been wonderfully self-governed and self-motivated. After our first meeting, I kind of sat back, listened to everybody, different ideas that they had, and one of the things that they were really focused on was the hydroponics unit. So we narrowed down a couple of the options and basically sat back and let them run with it. So the, the design is theirs. And it's based on the elegantly simple but profound solution of growing produce in a system that's soil free and easier on the water use. And it's basically a project where we can teach about water conservation and obviously food growth because it uses about 80 percent less water just to grow the same amount of food about three times as fast. But it's a complicated project that presented the eager students with all the challenges of gardening, engineering and chemistry. The framing you have to do and the inclination and the nutrients, the pH system and all that stuff. A lot of the things that I actually learned in chemistry last year came in handy. What does a seedling need? What does it need to develop those first strong leaves and then the, the stem to get it stronger? And with that knowledge, I've kind of, you know, try to put it in place into here and, you know, adjusting that nutrient solution base every two weeks along with the pH, which has to have a certain acidity to it for the plants not to burn the roots. Even though the final configuration of the unit is still in a state of flux, the students are fulfilling their mission of education by showing off their accomplishments to littler kids using a miniature tabletop version. So we were talking about um, kind of rotating through and having kids come on field trips here in the Springs Preserve and that's why we made the smaller hydroponic system that's right inside so that we can kind of take the cart around and show that with the brochures like this is what we do with this, um, you know, kind of read it off and just educate the younger kids in a really nice, fun, exciting way. Because these students have learned and are now teaching that nothing is insoluble for such a council of youthful yet serious problem solvers.